Welcome to Thinglish Lifestyle. Imagine a garden that not only provides food but also offers a natural pharmacy at your fingertips. Today we'll explore 10 medicinal plants that you can grow in your survival garden. Let's dive in. First up we have borage. Known for its beautiful blue star-shaped flowers, borage is not just a pretty face. The leaves and flowers can be used to reduce fever, ease coughs and relieve stress. Borage thrives in well-drained soil and full sunlight. Harvest the leaves before the plant flowers for the best medicinal properties. Did you know Boraja is also a natural source of omega-6 fatty acids? Chamomile is a soothing plant well known for its calming properties. The flowers are used to make tea that helps with insomnia, anxiety and digestive issues. Chamomile prefers sandy soil and full sun. Harvest the flowers when they are fully open. Fun fact, chamomile is also a great companion plant, deterring pests and attracting beneficial insects. Echinacea, or coneflower, is a powerhouse for boosting the immune system. The roots and flowers are used to fight infections and reduce inflammation. Echinacea grows best in well-drained soil and full sun. Harvest the roots in the fall after the plant has gone dormant. Interesting tidbit. Echinacea was a staple in Native American medicine. Feverfew is your go-to for migraines and headaches. The leaves and flowers contain compounds that can reduce inflammation and pain. It grows well in most soil types with plenty of sunlight. Harvest the leaves just before flowering. Did you know that feverfew has been used since ancient Greek times? Lemon balm has a delightful citrus scent and is perfect for relieving stress and anxiety. The leaves are used in teas and tinctures. It prefers moist, well-drained soil and partial shade. Harvest the leaves before the plant flowers for maximum potency. Fascinating fact, lemon balm is a member of the mint family. Mugwort is known for its ability to aid digestion and enhance dreams. The leaves and roots are used in teas and as a seasoning. Mugwort thrives in poor, well-drained soil and full sun. Harvest the leaves before the plant flowers. Intriguing fact, mugwort has been used in traditional medicine across many cultures for centuries. Sage is a versatile herb with antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties. The leaves are used to treat sore throats and digestive issues. Sage grows best in well-drained soil and full sun. Harvest the leaves before flowering. Fun fact, sage has been used in culinary and medicinal practices since ancient Roman times. Thyme is a powerful herb with antibacterial and antifungal properties. The leaves are used in teas, oils and poultices. It prefers well-drained soil and full sun. Harvest the leaves just before flowering. Did you know that thyme was used in ancient Egypt for embalming? Wormwood is famous for its role in the creation of absinthe, but it's also a potent medicinal herb. The leaves and flowers are used to stimulate digestion and expel parasites. Wormwood grows well in poor, dry soil and full sun. Harvest the aerial parts before flowering. Fascinating fact. Wormwood has been used in traditional medicine for over 3,500 years. Yarrow is a healing herb used to stop bleeding and treat colds. The leaves and flowers are used in teas and poultices. It thrives in well-drained soil and full sun. Harvest the aerial parts when in full bloom. Interesting tidbit. Yarrow was named after the Greek hero Achilles who used it to treat his soldiers' wounds. These 10 medicinal plants are not only easy to grow, but also offer a multitude of health benefits. Start your survival garden today and take a step towards self-sufficiency. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Thinglish Lifestyle for more tips on living a good life. Disclaimer. The information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended as health advice. Always do your own research and consult with a healthcare professional before using any medicinal plants. For more related content, click one of video on the screen now. Thanks for watching.